Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. We're going to be solving one word problem today that involves fraction multiplication. And our objective is, I can use the RDW, or Read, Draw, Write process, to think critically about and solve word problems that involve fraction operations. So, uh, what is RDW? It stands for Read, Draw, Write. We're going to read the problem for understanding using annotations to help us process that information. We're going to draw or create a model that's going to help us make sense of the problem. We might use tape diagrams, images, arrays, drawings, etc. And then W, write a statement of the answer and we're going to write in complete sentences. So this is a completed problem. These are my annotations that help me read the problem carefully. This is the model that I created using Google Images to um, help represent what is being said in our prompt. And then here's my complete statement as my answer. Here's another um, completed problem, again, showing all the steps of read, draw, and write. Now let's put that to work. Susan is tiling her kitchen floor with square tiles. She wants four out of 10 or four tenths of the square tiles to be blue. If she uses 12 blue tiles, how many square tiles will be used to cover the floor? So I'm gonna use my annotations to help me think and read this carefully. So I'm gonna underline the question. How many square tiles will be used to cover the floor? I'm gonna circle keywords that tell me that if I might um, add, subtract, multiply, or divide, or what my solution um, should be, what kind of uh, solution I should have. So in this case, I'm circling the word of, meaning that I might, will probably have to multiply at some point, maybe. And then this right here, how many, I circled because it helps me realize I don't want a fraction as my answer, because if I'm covering the whole floor, that'd be 10 out of 10 of the tiles, 10 tenths or one whole, all of them. I want a counting number. I want an actual number of tiles. So I want a number like 26 or something like that when I'm done. And then we're gonna box in an important information. So I need to cover the whole floor. So I'm considering the whole floor, not what tiles are not blue, for example. I know that 4 tenths of the square tiles are blue and that 12 of the tiles are blue. Um, and those are gonna be critical for solving. So next, I'm gonna draw or create a model to help me make sense of the problem. And I'm gonna use a tape diagram. The first thing I do with a tape diagram is I draw a rectangle to represent the whole. And in this case, um, my whole is how many tile, total tiles are used. And I don't know how many that is, so I'm gonna mark that with a question mark. My next step is to break the tape diagram down into as many parts as I need. And in this case, I need 10 equal parts. So I'm gonna split that into 10 equal sections. And since four out of 10 are blue, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight four out of 10 of those as blue tiles. I also know that four out of 10, the fraction, is equivalent to 12 blue tiles, so I'm gonna label that. Four tenths and 12 are equivalent in this situation. Now, there's a couple ways that I can think about how I can solve this. So I can see right here that this is 12 blue tiles, so I could add uh, or could consider that four more sections would also be 12 tiles. And then, then I have these two sections left over. And it's not four, so it's not another 12 exactly, it's only half of 12. So then I would recognize that that would be half of 12 or six tiles. So that's one way I could consider it, is by repeating the pattern that's already there. Considering that this is 12, this would also be 12, and this would be half of 12. And then I could add that up. 12 plus 12 is 24, plus 6 more is 30 total tiles. Another way that I could consider this problem is to think, if this is 12, how much is just 1 tenth? If 4 tenths is 12 blue tiles, how much is just 1 tenth? So if I share 12 evenly among these 4 tenths, or 4 sections, then that would be 3. Four, 12 divided by 4 is 3. So each one of those would be three, represent three blue tiles. Three, six, nine, 12. That means that every single one of these evenly divided sections would also represent three tiles. So again, I could see that as 10 groups of three, and 10 groups of three is also 30. So whether I looked at it this way and considered how many four tenths sections I have, I have two and a half of those, or if I look at it this way and consider that each of those smaller sectors must be three tiles, 
I can use that to solve my problem and answer my question. So how many square tiles will be used to cover the floor? Susan will use 30 tiles to cover the whole floor. So again, we went through the process of using the RDW process to help us think carefully and critically about this problem. And by um, reading carefully, creating this model, we were able to come up with a full sentence solution that answered our question. Thanks for watching.